Hey, welcome back to another TARDIS building video. I'm so excited to share this one with you guys. I've been working really hard this past week trying to get a couple of details done. Uh, I had some help again from my friend Kevin, who's been so helpful on getting uh, a lot of the prep work done, sanding, you name it, sanding, painting, priming, uh, just helping me get all this stuff going, including um, getting the base going. So now in my previous video, you saw that I had the base pretty much constructed. It was, it was done, I just need some more sanding and whatnot. And I had to do a little bit more work this time too, but mainly because it's now painted. There it is. <laughs> so here we are, it's painted. Uh, so I want to kind of show you guys that really quickly as long and update with what we're going. So first of all, this is what I'm painting with. This is a Rust-Oleum product, uh, Metallics, Accent Metallics, that's the French set probably, hold on. Metal Metallic Accents. Uh, it's pretty good. It's Finding the right tone for this has been part of the challenge because uh, there's so many different types of silvers. You have warm silvers and cool silvers. And this one's kind of like a yellow warmy silver uh, on the actual one. But unfortunately this one's a little bit more cooler than I would like, but I think it's a pretty good match. Uh, I have some other silvers that I've had before that I think are better, but this is also getting weathered and added on. So in the end, this is kind of more of a base color. So just to quickly go over it, as you look at the videos here, I have now painted the entire base. So the base is painted. Uh, I was able to, I had to do a little bit of sanding actually to get it all to fit together. So there's a little bit of pieces that have to be kind of touched up. And then the top piece was able to slide right down right where I wanted it with the core piece. And then also tested out my tubes. So the tubes, one of these tubes actually has some 3D printed parts, which I'll go over in a, in a future video, but you can actually see how the tubes are gonna fit. I don't need it for it because I kind of want to make sure it was fine because I do have quite a few tube in here, there's 18 of them, but they all slotted in just fine. I did have to go back in and sand after it was painted, but in the end, very little of a big deal. But guys, I am so excited. I can't believe that this, this is looking so good. This is the rotor bit here. It's on there along with uh, some of the tubes that are cut and some 3D printed pieces there. You can see, uh, and especially in the close-ups here, where you got the center piece. Both of those have been set up so that they can hold both tubes. There's actually be two tubes in every one of these sections on the top and bottom. The middle tube is gonna be frosted and will help us diffusing the LED strips. And then the outside one is just for aesthetics. Uh, it looks better and it's actually like that on the actual one as well. So. Uh, I am so stoked. This is really crazy. Also following up on this, uh, what else I'm working on, especially today while I'm making this video, is I'm working on the ribs. We got a couple done and they're just gluing right now. And I'm working on the framework. Now the framework goes in the middle and will actually support this rotor bit here uh, along with uh, the ribs themselves. So I kind of create a, a whole hex around for structure, just like my last one. It's Construction wise and how it's going together is really, really similar to my last one. So if you watch those videos and you go back, uh, it's part of the reason I'm not actually doing a lot of the uh, time lapse with this one, mainly because uh, I've already done it. You guys have already seen it uh, several times. At this point, if, for those of you who are following through the build, if you wanna know kind of the steps that are involved to this point, definitely check out that video. It will actually also talk about the drawers, the differences, this time my drawers are gonna be pre-planned, whereas before they were kind of just flat. So, very little differences. If you guys wanna see more time-lapse videos, I have no problem actually do filming some, and I might actually do some for the next one, but let me know in the comments below if you actually like the time-lapse, uh, especially as we're getting to the nitty gritty parts here. But yeah, look at this, it's silver, it's there. It looks like the actual thing. I'm so, oh, I'm so beside myself, I can't wait. Uh, next steps from these ones that I'm doing here is just to get these rings prepared, but they are kind of like further up. I, I'll, I'll get them prepped and primed and painted, but they are, they go on after the tube gets attached. So at the end of the day, it's kind of like a last thing. So yeah, at least for now, we'll get it going. We'll get it set up so that the ring can be set up uh, and attached and everything can be attached and the tube will just kind of go in, bolt in and then all the stuff gets added. So yeah, I'm, uh, I'm so happy. Uh, like I said, a lot, a lot of little things to do, a little bits to pieces to, to, to put on. Um, I'm gonna send a picture here to show a picture here too to show how kind of the uh, bottom plates will actually work with the base there so you can kind of see that. But it all comes down to the base. The base was the hardest thing to get going because it is, the, it is literally the roots of this entire build. And without it, I don't know, it's, it's, it's hard to work on. So I'm glad I got this done. And not only did I get it done, but I got it further along than my last build. So guys, I hope you're really enjoying seeing this. I'm excited to show it. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions or comments about the build, please let me know in the comments below. I am planning some more content for other types of videos on this channel. It's just been a little while since I've had the uh, 
ability to and has some stuff to show too so now i do anyway guys uh questions comments down below and thank you so much for bearing with me thank you so much for liking and subscribing to the series and guys thank you so much for watching